I'm gonna take you out for a ride through the city today. You can get off at any one of these exits and be in the heart of Atlanta. This is the Lee Street exit where the water boys was getting money at before the city shut them down. To the right you got Clark Atlanta, Morehouse, and to the left is the West End area. I ain't gonna lie, right here in the West End, anything goes over here. You can go shopping, get robbed, shot, or get money all in the same day. But we heading to the Oakland City area, Little Baby's Hood. I know Lil Baby and his team running around getting money right now, but I wanted to see what was going on anyway. I usually be calling people and setting something up, but since he wasn't going to be there, I wanted to see what was going on in his hood on a regular day. I pulled up to the park first where he got the court redone with the 4PF logo on it and was giving out the bikes. They removed the 4PF logo so they probably was just doing that for promo but the court still looked good and the necks are still up. And there was a couple of people out in the park over there to the side and there was a couple of kids out too. But they got police on patrol, but I guess that's a good thing for the kids though, cause you know how crazy it gets in some parks and the kids get caught up in all of that. While we over this way, I'ma see if any of these stores got some of them little baby wrap snacks in stock. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even taste them yet. So we're gonna grab some of those real quick. I went to like three stores. This first store don't even have any of the wrap snacks. We're gonna try something a little closer to his hood. Right, this store right here is a little closer so we're gonna see if they stocked up okay they know what's up they got them in stock all right, all right they stocked up We're gonna pull over to the projects real quick to see if anybody out. I can't run around in this hood and don't actually go to the hood. Ain't gonna front and look kinda dead though. Ain't nobody outside right now.
Maybe I might pull up next time like on a Saturday night or something. I'll try one more of these stores right here before I leave this hood to see if they stocked up. See, now they got them front and center. I see y'all got the little baby wrap snacks on deck, as it should be. Now I need to actually see what these taste like. I don't even need potato chips like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and try these out. So, I grabbed the little baby. Grabbed the Rick Ross sweet chili lemon pepper. When I grabbed the Rick Ross, I did see the sweet chili lemon pepper flavor. When I grabbed little baby, I didn't even pay attention to the ingredients because I was just in this hood trying to find these potato chips. These are salt and vinegar, barbecue, onion, garlic, and more. So the date says February 11th, 2023. January 18th, 2023. A lot of potato chips. You get them hard, stale. You wind up eating them anyway. But, alright, let's give it the taste test. First of all, let's look at the potato chip. Nice and flaky. I ain't gonna lie. Salt and vinegar chips can be extremely nasty with a general taste or they could be too extra like too much too much vinegar too much salt this is a good blend it gives you exactly what you need without doing too much the taste the, the aftertaste isn't strong I'm going to give these Package in the eight. I think maybe they should change the salt and vinegar description another color. Maybe make that white. Cause I didn't pay. People are going to grab the little baby chips just because they're little baby and not even pay attention to what flavor they actually are. So we're going to give that an eight. The potato chip itself, quality. This best that I got isn't stale. They they actually taste taste like they just made them and shipped them out. And as a salt and vinegar chip, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half or nine. They pretty good. I can't lie. It has a taste that isn't overpowering. I would go nine, but I don't eat potato chips that much, so I don't remember which brand it was that I tasted last that had the salt and vinegar. Maybe I might go to the store and see. But these, these ain't no no frill potato chips. These taste good, man. Like I can't lie. So yeah, packaging eight. You need to switch that to another color, maybe white. Freshness, freshness nine. Matter of fact, freshness ten. Because they said they. Taste, they taste just like they shipped them out, like right now. It tastes. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. A lot of people don't like salt and vinegar. I eat anything. I don't care. Eight and a half, nine, man. Little baby did his thing with this one. To me. So we got Rick Ross. Sweet chili lemon pepper flavor. We're going to start with the packaging. Yeah. yeah. It's alright. It's Miami ish. It's Ross. Colorful. Big. That's how you do it. That's him. It suits him. I can't lie. Um 
could he have done some different colors? Uh, I'm not sure. It's kind of fits Ross. So for that fact, seven and a half. I'm only giving it a seven and a half because I don't like it. But that's Ross right there. If if you if he if, if you consider sticking to the script, I'm gonna give it an eight, eight and a half. That's how you do loud, colorful, flavor. Yeah. It's going to the chip itself. chip itself another thing these potato chips feel fresh in the hand you can feel when something hard these feel like they might break off freshness like I told you on this one we're talking about the 11th of February so you know it's months away as far as the born on date freshness on both of them 9, 10 10 quality Quality of the potato chip, 10 on both. You can say what you want about the packaging. Like I said, little baby, I think they need to put uh, that light that light blue writing in white to make it more clear of what you're getting. Although you can see it, but a lot of people are just going to grab the chip and not know what type of chip he has. Rick Ross, you see he has his big... And as plain as day, sweet and ch sweet and chili lemon pepper. That's what you get. I give you this. I won't be eating no more Fritos, chili Fritos. Those I do eat. I get on these. I get these a nine. They this it has that sweet chili taste. And it has that slash of lemon pepper. Just like it says. I can see the store running through these. So if your store doesn't have these, you better get them because there you go. Taste test wise. Quality of the potato chip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See that? Yeah. Flavor. So that's my review of the wrap snacks. I'm not going to lie. Because of who it is, I done I don't did I don't did I don't did something with both of these dudes. We ain't playing no favoritism on the chips. I told you what it was with the packaging, the freshness. You can't deny it. At least the batch that I got and the taste. It's it. what it is on the bag. It truly is. When you buy these, you're gonna get a good quality potato chip. I can't lie. That's both of these, little baby. And Rick Ross. I might try the other ones later. I was going to try the money bag yo's, but they said hot. I ain't feel like doing hot. Taste test, wrap snacks. I'm out. <laughs>